So here's what the TikTok algorithm is apparently prioritizing in 2023. They are super shady about their algorithm, but here is what they're telling their key influencer and brand partners. TikTok tips for content creators, basically. Right, first up, like Instagram, apparently TikTok don't really care at all anymore if you include hashtags in your captions. It's totally fine to include two or three, but any more than that may be considered spammy. The algorithm is way more likely to use subtitles or on-screen text to categorize your content. So if you're not putting subtitles in every video that you make, you need to sort that out. This next one is connected to that. So at the beginning of any video that you make, you should have on-screen text which contains search terms relevant to your content. I've obviously done that here. It's actually more to help the algorithm know who to serve the content to in the first place rather than for people who are landing on it. Moving on, it's still a very good idea to use the word you in the first sentence or caption of anything that you make. So if you make travel content, instead of saying the best hotel I've ever been to, reframe that as the best hotel you'll ever go to. People are inherently selfish. They want to know immediately how whatever you're making applies to them. So make it explicitly about them from the off and the algorithm will favour that. Pretty obvious next one, they want you to use CapCut or record directly in TikTok and if you do that, the algorithm will naturally give it a boost. It's not the end of the world to use external software like Final Cut or Premiere Pro to edit your stuff, but it won't get that natural boost. This next one is super interesting. The algorithm is prioritising creators who are good TikTok citizens. What they mean by this is people who are liking other people's stuff frequently, commenting, sharing, following, all of that stuff. Not just being self-centred basically. But apparently people that do that will directly have their own content boosted as a sort of reward for being a good citizen. So shameless plug time, if you like social media tips, hit that follow button. Apparently your own content will get boosted as a result. Crazy. Next up, TikTok strategy is obviously more and more about their in-app shopping functionality. So apparently if you engage with that in any way, either by selling things yourself or even by buying things, the algorithm will consider you to be a good quality user for them and you will have your content boosted. I love this next one because I'm so guilty of it. It used to be a massive no-no to delete videos if they flopped. Apparently that's not the case anymore. It's totally okay to delete your videos that do not perform well. They do suggest some level of curation. So if you've got something that sucks, just delete it. Apparently it won't affect your views moving forwards. These last two are related to sound quality. This little guy, basically. So as you know, pretty much every creator these days has a decent licensing setup, so the algorithm is prioritizing content that has crystal clear sound quality. So investing in a little mic for your phone or for a camera, or whatever, is a good idea. This isn't an ad for this specific mic, by the way, I don't even know what brand that is. Finally, if you're adding music, you're editing sound in TikTok or CapCut, make sure you don't push the volume levels up to above 130%. Temptation might be to just push it up to as loud as it possibly goes, but it can actually make the sound quite muffled and therefore lead to a bad user experience. These tips will apparently maximize the chances of your content continuing to go viral. Good luck.